So, little update. Well, first update, really. Getting this together pretty quick. That's the basic cockpit tub uh, for the Mirage. Nothing too fancy or unexpected here. Goes together quite straightforwardly and it will sit within here. The kit is very much engineered around sitting on its wheels, um, so I didn't like the molded in uh, undercarriage door on the side. That just looked plain wrong, so that's had to be cut off and we'll have to work through this. Um, because of the way I'm going to mount it, I didn't know if I was going to have a something coming out the jet pipe, so I've put a little bit more material there uh, to give me something uh, to drill into if I decide to mount, that, mount it that way. Otherwise, I'll be filling the centerline tank with uh, milliput, and then that'll become part of the uh, the uh, attachment rods will go in on the base because this is going to be mounted on a picture frame uh, base. So I can actually hang it up on a wall along with the other Mirage uh, on the same frame. So coming along quite well. I'm not going to worry about nose weight. It's going to be built gear up. I've had a rummage through my spares and found some passable uh, aircrew figures. They'll take a little bit of trimming, tidying up. Um, I think they were from the Airfix Hind that I used for a What If build many years ago, so they need tidying up, cleaning up, and all the rest of it. Um, I thought I might end up having to order some resin bits from hand and all this, but I'll see if I can avoid this. So I'm going to get the fuselage halves together with the um, cockpit tub sandwiched in between. Fairly sharpish, not worrying about the uh, seatbelt harnesses because I'm going to fill this with a pilot figure. So this is progress and I know this is a bit of a jump uh, in terms of the rate at which this build's going. but uh, and I know Ravel kits to some people might get complaints, but to me, compared to what I normally build, I love how this is going together. So this is the Ravel Mirage 2000. See this kit in Tiger Meat markings. And uh, there is a pilot in there. So the things I've had to do, I'm going to be doing this on the display uh, frame. So closed off the uh, uh, nose uh, wheel bay the kit doesn't give you the option to have this closed so I put a bit of uh, plastic strip behind it uh, use plastic card to make up the undercarriage doors close that up bit of filler and on the filling side wing root with um, deluxe products water-based putty then overlaid that with the super glue because I know that will soak into the um, clay based uh, putty along here maybe a bit of an overkill because it created much more sanding so might not need it to have done that but I wanted a good solid uh, wing root joint bit of filler as you can see needed around here around the air intakes and just the main joins uh, a bit of work this upper fuselage seam took a little bit of work um, that's ended up with a layer of um, Mr. Surfacer. So I'm reasonably happy with how this is going. There's a couple of little bits of rescribing, but, you know, going together pretty well. Um, so how this is going to be displayed. Is... So you have the um, picture frame, I'm going to mount it like this, put a background uh, image of probably the French uh, coast. So you're going to have one aircraft here and a second one here. The second one is going to be this Mirage F1C. So they're going to, it's forming part of a double build. Um, and it's mounted like this and then it can be wall mounted um, and as I say I want to be looking at different way in the next few builds 
I really want to be exploring different ways of displaying aircraft. So it's not just so you can move away just from sitting things on shelves and how can we display aircraft on walls. Um, you know, different forms of flight format display. Uh, just to make things a bit more interesting and uh, maybe just sort of um, bring this displaying model aircraft to a different direction where where we can put them around the house um, moving away see what we can do to move away from the idea of either ceiling hangers or displaying it and moving aircraft to something I believe that we can display in more as as art be it three-dimensional art um, so that's what this project is about it's going to be two mirages on here if I don't if I have three aircraft it's just going to be too crowded so one aircraft here one aircraft here and uh, so that's where we're up to I'm quite happy with the way this is going together um, the kit assembles perfectly well needs a little bit of work um, and soon a little bit of tidying up and then on with the painting here we are I must admit today has been a good day for modeling I've got this um, pretty much painted done uh, so worked with Tamiya's greys blues uh, masked it with white tack um, one or two issues some uh, paint peeling here uh, where it's stuck to the um, masking tape but apart from that you know when I get the ball rolling on the painting I seem to move relatively quickly and I'm moderately happy with this it's that pattern isn't exact but it's near enough it looks suitably mirage-ish and uh, I've hit it with a couple of coats of uh, good old Johnson's Clear. Um, yeah, I'm not complaining about this at all. Um, not perfect. Could be better in places, but it's... I don't think it's come out too bad. I may need to tidy it up in a couple of places, but I'm not overly worried when I'm considering how I'm going to display this so I'm going to let the uh, Johnson's clear cure I'm not just, I'm suffering long or post covid symptoms or whatever just like, crap. Uh, but basically painting no major issues here um, apart from some masking problems but that was about it really um, just a reasonable afternoon with the airbrush to get to this um, I'm not going to do washes because this is a display aircraft. It's meant to look nice. It's not going to be heavily weathered. It, this is meant to be a clean airframe. So when you look at photos, you're not going to see significant panel lines and stuff like that. You just see a relatively nice, clean um, aircraft. And that's how I am going to keep this. Uh, the main uh, interesting markings on this are the Tiger Meats. Uh, uh, it's fine by me, so <clears throat> it'll be next with these decals. You've, uh, and I'm going to take my usual approach is you start with the uh, big stuff. I'm, by the looks, I'm going to use these blue because of the way I've done the tail. I'm going to use these two uh, tigers. You start with the big stuff and work your way down to you just can't be asked anymore. And that's my strategy for decals. So make sure that all the interesting stuff is there. Um, and uh, then when we get to some of the really small awkward ones whose position is hard to deduce, I won't lose too much sleep if they're not there. So... coming along quite well happy with the way I'm planning to display it and uh, I have to say I'm having fun with this there's progress now on the Ravel bar 
Mirage F1. And I must admit, I've got to this stage quite quickly. This has been a very pleasurable Sunday afternoon's worth of modelling to literally get pilot painted up, um, seat detail painted, and just it's just sort of thrown together. Um, I'm seeing if I can go for minimum filling on this one. So taking a bit more time on the adhesive. Um, I know my sanding has obliterated some of the detail. But this is raised panel lines. And I think by not using fill, I've reduced the amount I've obliterated. Um, on If you actually look at the aircraft in their clean state, the panel lines aren't that visible anyway. So I'm not losing too much sleep over this. This is because it's like a display aircraft it's going to be kept as clean as possible so I've seen how I can keep the use of filler down to a bare minimum I'll put on I'll get the canopy masked up put on a base grey coat and see what that gives me um, and then just progressively layer it up I'll get the fins uh, and the vertical fin painted white and then that'll be the base for the yellow um, then mask them over and uh, then apply uh, in progressive coats the uh, apply the uh, relatively simple two tone scheme. I've got to fill out this the undercarriage bay as well. I uh, have to find the door for that. Put a bit of piece in there and then just box that off. So quite happy with the way this is going. It's falling together quite well. It looks like a Mirage F1C, and I'm happy with that. So this is going to be a bit more of a wobbly bit, purely on the grounds that um, I'm jumping ahead a bit. <laughs> Basically this has been now, as I record this I realised I didn't um, save some bits in between and uh, so I'm sort of, as I'm compiling the video in <laughs> may i'm sort of realizing oh heck so let's jump across discuss some of the elements i'll have a couple of bits will uh, a couple of photos will slide in amongst my warbling so this is the completed um mirage uh build the mirage 2000 and the mirage f1c they've been put on a display base with um well, it's a picture frame. You've got a Lexan uh, polycarbon at front. The Tiger image is one I found online. And um, what I had to do there was, I won't deny, I did a, you know, a crop an image, put it into a um, word processing package, not word processing package, a, um, a PowerPoint um, slide and then got it printed out in A3. I had to do a little bit of tidying up in places. So you may see here areas like that where you could see grid lines and I'm going to be honest with you watermarks from the original image. So I just took some paints and I sort of tidied these zones up a little bit to remove watermarks, grid lines, things like that that was um, overlaid on here. Um, so the key thing was to prep this background image I thought I was trying out a number of ideas I maybe thought about some French countryside or scene from uh, over the uh, Mediterranean it just didn't seem to look right um, and this is a tiger meat so I wanted to say okay let's move more to something a bit more artistic the label on the bottom corner, again, this was compiled in um, a PowerPoint uh, package and then printed onto adhesive paper. So it gives you a little base image here. I should have probably done the squadron badge for the um, SC05330. Uh, um, I didn't, but... Um, and I think that might have gone nice up here, but fair dues, it's the level it's at. 
Now a key, a little point, I'm going to turn this over carefully. The background on here is cardboard as opposed to MDF, which gave me a degree of concern and is part of the reason why I went for um, putting polycarbonate on. You can't drill through glass, not safely or easily, and it's thin glass, so I got some polycarbonate from a hardware store, uh, cut it to size, and uh, the aircraft are... Um, supported with two and a half mil um, two, yes that is two and a half mil two two and a half mil brass rods in both cases so if we look here we can see the way they were mounted um, now I did a mounting um, into the fuel tanks because I didn't want to in this case drill into the aircraft and I should explain in both aircraft I filled the fuel tanks the drop tanks with um, milliput uh, epoxy putty before sealing them up and that gave some meat for the brass rods to go into um, and they've been positioned in such a way that when it's displayed and viewed from the front you can't really see them so it's intended for view in this sort of angle hanging on a wall um, to emphasize the different schemes you've got the Mirage 2000 uh, displayed more face down so looking at the upper surfaces and the Mirage F1C displayed side on so you can see the uh, Tiger decal on the other side of the F1C is more of the squadron decal here as you can see too a little bit less of interest on that surface the tiger art on the side is duplicated on both sides with the image of the uh, tiger being sucked into the air intake and his tail emerging from the um, air brake uh, fairing so I have to say these decals took a little bit of work, heavily made extensive use of microset and microsol and decaling on both aircraft was done on a, uh, a base of Johnson's Clear. I had silvering issues with the Mirage 2000 as can be seen here. And that was I think a bit more of a problem with the deck with the areas of decals that had clear sides and that has even though I then relayered with uh, varnish it was still a bit of a pain in the backside also the location of the decal here on the spine it didn't really in the way the decal was presented and cut it didn't you have to do a bit of trimming to get this decal to fit which was a bit frustrating um, and I also had to touch up a little bit with yellow so getting this decal in the right location you need to cut it in order to get it to, to fit on this aircraft spine and onto the vertical uh, fin. The rest of the decals weren't too much of an issue. I didn't go overboard with the stenciling, just used, I'd say, the majority of them, in all fairness. I didn't go for any uh, panel lines because if something like the Tiger Meat, these aircraft are kept remarkably clean washed you know this is in pristine condition so you really don't want to go too heavily with weathering it's just not in this case the aircraft aren't going to be weathered um, now I managed to actually do the Mirage F1C that despite it having raised panel lines I managed to build this aircraft without requiring any filler whatsoever and a lot of this was down to sanding and reworking so I'm quite happy that all this upper fuselage and along to the nose was, is absolutely filler free and it maybe it just shows to me what I can achieve by taking the approach of very light touch sanding after applying the adhesive blending in taking my time on that uh, this one far fill far more filler heavy mm, uh, using predominantly um, mr. surfacer that had been thinned down a bit 
and I used some super glue on the wing roots and that I think was a bit of a mistake in this case for this project that was a bit too heavy handed and that took some work and blending out whereas I accepted that there's a natural join line here and here and um, I'm actually more chuffed with the F1C than I am mm -hmm. with the 2000 in terms of the way it was built uh, the decals took each of these is in multiple sections for the tiger stripes and it's just something you need to work through slowly and uh, patiently so in this wall a couple of other images will appear i've got to be honest with you i got kind of lost in these builds i enjoyed them i had a great deal of fun with them and when i'm doing that i then end up kind of forgetting to do the video recording and going into the depths i just like how these two old ravel kits went together um so there's wire on the back for wall hanging and I kept the support so it can be freestanding as well. And this sort of means it can be taken to model shows and displayed like that. Um, yeah, some things could have gone better. Um, I think I'm all critical, I think, of the Mirage 2000. Uh, the silvering does bug me a bit. Um, and maybe it could have been done with the surface down to the surface prep as well. Um, but despite putting down the layers of Mr. Surfacer, it just not Mr. Surfacer, um, Johnson's Clear, which I keep decanted in a bottle, it's mm, not the best. But that said. I am reasonably content and also for the mounting. This is the material I've used, brass rod. I've, because the next few builds are going to feature this stuff for supporting the aircraft, I have stocked up a bit on this now. Um, I applied a bit of extra super glue uh, also to support the, to secure the. Uh, the drop tanks and in the F1C case the drop tank is actually pinned in place as well so there are some pins drilled through the pylon into um, through the pylon there's a um, plastic strip inside the fuselage to take the uh, the weight of the aircraft so a bit more reinforcing around that um, Overall, I'm actually happy with this. Uh, it looks nice up on the wall. Uh, Display it a little bit higher and think about traffic around the area so it doesn't get knocked or bashed. Um, and uh, really, there we have it. And there'll probably be a couple of filters now to follow. Um, oh, blended in with this. I'm not entirely sure as I'm recording this. Like so many things, I do them a little bit on the fly. So that's the completed work. A few other views there. Oh, two aircraft. So you can see the approach taken. Um, and this is for me. I say it's been an inspiration. It's been fun to do. Um, And yeah, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this build. And yes, I'm moderately happy with the end result. So there we have it. The French Air Force Mirage 2000 and F1C in Tiger Meat markings on a Tiger background. So thank you for your patience in, uh, and bearing with me and watching this video.